Pisces. Welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly message for June 2022. And without further ado, we will get right into your June message. All right, Angels, what are the positive high vibrations yes 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 for the month of june for lovely lovely pisces angels let's take our time here to get all the positive energies that we can for you oh, this month all right angels we're going to keep on moving on to the next deck yes yes and yes there we go positive energy high vibrations for everyone hmm, you're like Let's see how high those vibrations are. Moving on to, yes, as you know, my mama's deck. Positive energy, high vibrations, looking for joy. Yes, we are. And unconditional love. There we go. And as usual, we're going to tap it off with the blessings card because we all Pisces deserve <laughs> Yes, blessing. So we'll tap into yours this month. All right, so let's tidy up here and get right into your message for June 2022. So the major theme for the month is ah, the Four of Wands. How beautiful. With control. Okay, the Joker and the blessing of just being. So I feel like there's a lot of rest this month. So here, when we have the Four of Wands, I feel like this is an energy that represents a lot of comfortability, a lot of love within your family within your home you're feeling safe and secure here with the control yes you are controlling your environment everything that goes in and out of your home your business yes even for you some of you for your business i feel that it is a matter of you taking control of your life there will be with the joker some things that come up but i feel like the blessing of just being and accepting all the wonderful things that are coming your way yeah that's that's truly divine but you know I feel like we need to add another another clarifier what it's like it's like everything is going well everything is going peaceful but there's one little hiccup let's take a peek to see what that little hiccup is all right angels high vibrations for Pisces what is the hiccup we have the king of Pentacles and this king of Pentacles is reversed so I feel like there's someone coming back into your life it could be yes it could be um, someone coming back with a proposal a financial proposal maybe a job raise or a job relocation or something of that nature and you're going to have to deal with the decision of what to do with that now for some of you it could literally just be someone wanting to come back into your world and you're going to have to decide whether you want them to or not because everything actually is going very well and you might not want to disturb the peace okay all right so Pisces let's take a peek into your recent past we had the king of swords with the move card the jack of hearts and the blessing for your soul so in the recent past with the king of swords there was someone very mighty in your world maybe a bit cutting it could have even been you. Yes, but you definitely, or they definitely stood in their power. I feel overpowering someone. Um, the move here, I feel like because of that, there had to be a move that needed to be made. Yes, it was a sacrifice, but the blessing came, I feel. The blessing was from your soul. I feel like you, I feel like maybe someone in the recent past was being a little bit authoritarian, if you know what I mean. Maybe too, um... I want to say too much, too much, where it, it felt like, you know, uh, I'm ready to move. I, I don't need to stay in this energy, if you know what I mean. For some of you, it could have, it could have been a job. It could have been an employee or a boss, or it could have been it, on a personal note. It could have been someone that you lived with. Maybe it was a parent or a romantic partner, but whatever it was, it felt like, uh, yeah, too much, too much, right? Too much. So it made you take it. And I feel like this whole move was a sacrifice, but 
nonetheless you needed to do it for your soul all right now let's take a peek at the middle of the month here we have the three of pentacles reversed with refer refusing to see the queen of spades and you are your blessed power. Everything seems to be about you this month, Pisces. So there is a financial agreement with the Three of Pentacles that is reversed, that is going a little bit slow, maybe not turning over as much or as quickly as you would like it to. There's something that you're refusing to see in this situation. The Queen of Spades is saying, don't try to change anything about this situation. Change how you look at the situation. Your, your blessed power, that there lies your blessing, is how you perceive the situation to be. Sometimes we can't change uh, sometimes we can't change deals or contracts. They were already etched in stone. I feel like this is something that was already done, but it's not moving as quickly or the way you would like it to. So change the way that you perceive, the way you see this situation. Now, let's take a peek at the end of the month, Pisces. We have the seven. I'm sorry, the Eight of Cups reversed with awaiting results, the Six of Clubs, and Blessing of Letting Go. So here we have it. I feel like you're returning to a situation that necessarily you didn't necessarily emotionally align yourself with. But you're returning, awaiting, awaiting to see if things actually change. I feel with the Six of Clubs, things will probably remain the same. Just to let you know, the blessing here is the letting go. So maybe the situation was you return to a job or you return to a relationship or a place of living. Whatever that return was, please apply it to your life as it fits because this is a general message. So how you see this return to something that you previously walked away from it's going to remain the same okay Pisces now let's take a peek at your let's take a peek at your bonus here we have the devil card Pisces with the magician card success and growth the king of clubs and a blessing from the beloved. So I feel like what's going on here, this in your bonus, there's something that you're trying to kick. I feel kick. <laughs> like something that you're ready to get over. You're working on detaching yourself from. It could be it could be a bad habit. It could be alcohol. It could be too much sleep. Maybe too much eating. Could even be a toxic relationship. But you are very much aware of it. And the magician card is saying you are doing everything in your power to work your way through that. The success and growth. Ah, and you can't make this up. You're going to do it. You're going to achieve what you need to achieve to overcome this devil, okay? The king of clubs is saying, use that power. You know that you are... Okay, so here's the thing. I'm about to speak the words out of my mouth, Pisces, but I already hear you say, oh yeah, I already know I'm over that relationship, or I already know I've kicked the habit of smoking, or I already know that was a codependent toxic friendship you already know that you that that it's going to end that you're going to walk away from it even if it's a toxic work environment I see you walking away from it because you know it's not good for you the blessing is from the beloved there are people on the other side your your family your friends that have crossed over that are cheering you on in this endeavor because whatever it is I feel like it has been holding you back you know now exactly what what you need to do here Pisces you have the you have the magician card is saying everything is at your disposal to let this go whether it is um, leaving a situation moving from one place to another you financially will have the means to do so leaving a toxic situation at a job you now have another job lined up leaving a relationship need I need need I need to go on leaving a toxic relationship you now now know that you have, yes, the resources to move forward out of this relationship. So Pisces, yes, kudos to you. Pat yourself on the back here because I feel like your life, I feel, when I look at the over overall for the month, everything looks 
wonderful. Everything looks fine. But there are some things in your life I feel that it's you know it's time to let go of, totally let go of. And I feel like you will do that. But the bigger scheme, the bigger picture here is that everything is well and fine. When these situations do come up, when people return back into your life, you're going to know exactly what to do with them. When jobs or whatever it is that you have that double relationship with returns, you're going to know exactly what to do with them because you know inherently in your intuition is telling you it's not going to change, okay? So I'm going to leave that there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.